Hi, I'm Lee, a Senior Solutions Engineer from Supermetrics. In this video, I'll show you how to create queries with Supermetrics and how to access your data through Power BI. After watching this video, I hope you will feel comfortable enough to start building your first reports using Supermetrics for Power BI. Let's get started. In order to pull data to Power BI using Supermetrics, you first have to create a query. The query defines the shape of the data that will end up in Power BI. Go to hub.supermetrics.com and log in using your Google or Microsoft account. From the menu on the left, select Destinations and Power BI. On this page, select Create a new query. On the left-hand side, select the data source we want to use. You can see data sources you have already authenticated listed at the top. If you want to use a new data source, simply select it from the list and follow the login flow to connect your data source with Supermetrics. For this example, we will choose Facebook Ads as our data source and choose the specific connection that we want to use. Under Accounts, we can choose the accounts we want to query. We can select these one by one, or we can use the All Accounts or All Active Accounts options. Next, we want to define which fields we want to see. For this example, we will select Impressions and Post Reactions as our metrics. For Dimensions, we will choose Date and Account Name. Note that filtering is possible and will pre-filter the data before it is transferred into Power BI. Depending on the data source you're using, there may also be other advanced options to set, such as the ones visible on screen. Before we save this query, let's confirm the data looks correct by clicking on the Preview button. On the right-hand side, we can choose the date range for our query. Note that this setting impacts both the preview and the end result in Power BI, but you can still change the date range within Power BI when you are using the connector. We will demonstrate this by selecting yesterday in this particular query. Once we are satisfied with our query, we can click the Save button, give the query a name, and add it to a query group. If there are no query groups created, we can create a new one very easily. Each query group can contain multiple queries and they are a great way to keep your queries organized. We can click the arrow icon to go back to the main Power BI page on the Supermetrics Hub. Here we can see the query group and query we just created listed under the data source. From this page, we can add more queries to an existing query group, create new groups, rename existing queries or query groups, or edit existing queries. The query that we created can now be accessed through Supermetrics for Power BI. Let's take a look at bringing the data into Power BI. To access data using the certified Supermetrics connector for Power BI, please make sure to have the latest version of Power BI installed. This can be done through the Microsoft Store by going to your library and clicking Get Updates. In case you are unable to install or update apps yourself due to your company's security policy, we do have an alternative way to access the connector. Please click the link in the description below for additional information. To find our certified connector in Power BI Desktop, click on Get Data from the Home ribbon. Select More and search for Supermetrics. Click this to launch the connector. When you're using the connector for the first time, it will ask you to log in. Use the Google or Microsoft account that is linked to your Supermetrics team. If you are part of multiple teams, you will need to select the team that you wish to use for the connection. You will not need to sign in again the next time you use this connector. Once the connector loads, you will see instructions that will remind you to connect your data sources in the Supermetrics Hub and create at least one query there. Since I have already done this in the previous steps, I can ignore these instructions. In the Navigator, the section My Queries lists all your connected data sources and query groups with your saved queries inside of them. You can select one or multiple queries to load into your current report by ticking the checkboxes next to each query. When you select the query, you have the possibility to modify the default settings, which are the settings you defined in the Supermetrics Hub. These can be edited on the right-hand side. For example, 
we can select the date range to be this month instead of yesterday, which we set up in the preview. In a similar way, we can customize the metrics and dimensions in this query. Remember to click Apply for the changes to take effect. Please note that customizing a query in Power BI does not change its base definition. This means that the settings will revert to whatever is saved in the Supermetrics Hub when you load the same query in a different report. Also, note that filters cannot be customized through the connector. You can make any required changes to your query filters within the Supermetrics Hub. As a best practice, Supermetrics recommends managing your query groups and queries through the Supermetrics Hub. Having a collection of use case specific saved queries is a great way to remain organized as opposed to reusing and customizing one query over and over again. It is worth noting that Supermetrics also offers standard query groups for certain data sources, which are excellent starting points for beginners and should contain the fields necessary to report on a wide range of use cases. To load the selected query or queries, click Load at the bottom. The data is now ready to be used in the report. Data pulled through Supermetrics for Power BI behaves like any other data source. It can be previewed from the table view, relationships can be established with other tables in the model view, and it can be visualized in the report view. For data processing, the data can be transformed using Power Query Editor, just like any other data source. With the certified Supermetrics for Power BI connector, scheduled refreshes can be created in just a few clicks. I will now demonstrate how to publish your report to a workspace and how to set up scheduled refreshes so that you and your teammates always have fresh data to analyze. Once we have set up our data connections and visualizations in Power BI Desktop, we can publish to a Power BI workspace. By clicking File and Publish, we are first prompted to name and save our report. We then select the workspace where we want to publish the report. Once we have clicked Publish and waited a few moments, we can click the link to view the report in Power BI in our browser. In Power BI, we can reach workspaces from the menu on the left-hand side in this example, I will go to My Workspace. In this list, we can see both the report and semantic model of the file we have just published. In order to enable scheduled refreshes, we hover over the name of the semantic model and select the second icon that appears, Scheduled Refresh. The first thing that we need to do is ensure that we have valid credentials in place. Under Data Source Credentials, we will log in using the same Google or Microsoft credentials that are linked to our Supermetrics account. Once this is done, all we need to do is configure an automatic refresh under the Refresh section by defining a frequency and schedule for when we want the refreshes to run. This concludes the tutorial on getting started with Supermetrics for Power BI. You've learned how to create Supermetrics queries, pull data into Power BI, publish reports, and set up scheduled refreshes. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you now feel comfortable with integrating this connector into your daily reporting.